Um, my name is Justin Benz. I am the president of the automotive division for the Sherman Williams Company. So I wanted to welcome you all to SEMA, welcome you to our booth. A couple things that you'll see this year at this booth, if you were around last year, you saw that we had two separate booths with Valspar and Sherman Williams. This year we've got one roof, one company, which is pretty exciting for us. So um, today I'm going to turn it over to some gentlemen. They're going to walk you through what we have here in the booth and what's exciting about it. So but before we get into that, I figured I'd spend about 45 minutes or so talking about our financials for the year. <laughs> you don't want to do that? All right. So. The theme of the booth, as you can see, is a trip down memory lane. And uh, there's really, really exciting things within the booth. And uh, I'm going to turn it over to Bill Mays now, our Vice President of uh, Sales for North America. And he's going to walk through the vehicles, uh, the type of, type of products that were used on the vehicles. And then eventually, we're going we're gonna to unveil. So I'll turn it over to Bill. Thanks, Justin. Good afternoon. Thank you. Hey. Uh, Appreciate you showing up here this afternoon for this unveiling of this beautiful build. But before we get into that, I'd like to take a few minutes to kind of talk about the refinish history as it relates to our company. If you see our booth is somewhat retro. Uh, so I'm going to take you back in time with our, our company, our great combined company, Valspar Sherwin-Williams, today. In 1806, Valspar Automotive was founded, followed shortly, well, 60 years later, actually, by Sherwin-Williams Automotive. And then in 1878, the Martin Sinor brand uh, was founded. And by the way, if you haven't seen this beautiful 67, I believe it is, 68, red Camaro over here, it is gorgeous, uh, done by Tony. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, you need to take a look at it. It's beautiful work, thank you. Uh, so after, uh, after 78, then we start seeing some changes here in the industry. So we actually developed our first automotive coating in uh, 1894, and it was a paste. It wasn't liquid like we're accustomed to today, nothing like what's used today. And it was used on buggies, really, at that time. But it was a coating. You fast forward, then there was an uh, incident happened in our country. It was the very first vehicle accident, vehicle accident in America. Anybody know where that was? No. New Ohio, Ohio, the very first vehicle accident. So it was at that moment that we realized there may be an opportunity to sell some paint. So a few years later, we developed a liquid coating for refinish purposes. We followed that with primers, sealers, and even varnish, and this was for buggies and actual vehicles as we know them today. You fast forward to 1970, and at that point, we had 50 automotive refinish centers in America, Sherwin-Williams did. Uh, we grew that store count over the years and we jumped into the 21st century and the technology really st started changing. So we came out with our Ultra 7000 solvent based coat. That was followed by our HPC series of air dry clears and then more recently the CC200 clear which is uh, really the hottest selling clear in the business today. Which brings us to this year when we introduced our Ultra 9K waterborne base coat, which is the best base coat we have ever produced. Now that product is primarily thought of as a, like a collision center product for large productive shops or MSOs or whatever, but it also is finding its way into premier restoration shops. And it's what you're going to see on this build today. It's the U9K base coat. So to tell you more about this and to turn it over to uh, Yes, Evan, tell more about it. This is his labor of love, by the way, so he, he can tell you all about it. Thanks. Hi, my name is Dave Ecker. Um, this is a 49 Hudson. It has the Ultra 9K on it. Um, it was the first time we used the product. The product was really good, easy to use. It also has a CC200 clear on, the clear he was talking about. Um, I think the result speaks for itself. We wanted to do something classic. The car is done in its original colors. Um, it's a maroon with the cream. We also wanted to do something timeless, so the car reflects the history of the Hudson. Um, it's got a lot of modern components, it's all hand-built trim, everything's been changed up on the car, but still designed to look like it originally came out of 1949 with all the modern components and stuff of today's cars, so this is basically what we have here. Thank you. Seven. Thank you. 
So uh, both of these guys will be around. If you have questions for them about their builds, uh, feel free to come and talk to them and learn more. So as our companies combine, we've, we've leveraged the great technologies that it brought us in terms of not just base coats, solvent based coats, waterboard base coats, and other technologies. And it really brought us to a point to where we look at the entire portfolio of products and well beyond U9K. So within the Vaspar Automotive brands of products and what we have with Sherwin Williams, there's really a robust family of technologies. And one of those is a brand that's renowned, it's called Matrix. So shifting gears, I'm going to talk a minute about the Matrix Mavericks of Color. Who's heard of the Mavericks, uh, uh, Ma Mavericks of Color, right? Okay. So this is a, a program that really uh, started uh, uh, three years ago, I believe. Uh, and it was started by a gentleman I'm going to introduce shortly here. He was a founding member of this, and there's 12 Mavericks, I believe, today, the Matrix uh, Mavericks of Color. And it's, it's painters really with incredible, incredible skills and ability. So to learn more about the program and tell you about it, I'd like to introduce Ryan Evans. Thank you, Ryan. Hello, everybody. Whoa. Good. That's up that's a high. All right. Um, basically, this is the third year of uh, inducting uh, painters, whether they be customer or uh, production painters, to be Mavericks of Color. That being, we've got number seven, eight, and nine. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be one of the very first. And uh, the premise behind being a Maverick is not just being a custom painter. It's, uh, it's made up of actually production painters, custom painters, artists uh, as a whole. And what it means to be a Maverick is effectively um, having a solid reputation in the business for whatever it is that you do, whether it be custom or a collision. Also being able to use the products regardless of what they are, who makes them, and make them work best for you and for your customs or our customers. So this year, um, we're inducting, like I said, three new Mavericks. We've got Lonnie Spear. We've got... <laughs> Lonnie Spear is my right-hand man, by the way, and uh, he's dug me out of my own holes many a time, so I definitely consider him a Maverick. We've got uh, Jason Vanderwood. And we have Bill Elvis Stull, the man himself. Like I was saying, uh, Lonnie Spear is my right-hand man at, uh, at Counts Customs. He is responsible for spraying 90% of the bases and clear coats at the shop. The finishes that you see, most of those uh, came out of his gun with his hand. Um, I've known him for several years now, and he's been... Man, he's been one of the most important guys in the shop to me just because he's got my back no matter what. Whether it be 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, Saturday, Sunday, it really makes no difference. And if I can't figure it out, usually he just kind of goes in there, comes out and says, yeah, Ryan, it's done. Which is irritating as hell. <laughs> uh, Jason Vanderwood, uh, I've been following him and his artwork on uh, social media for several years now. He owns a custom shop, NSD, in uh, Indiana and renowned custom painter when it comes to the motorcycles, especially the baggers. The guy's style is ridiculous and the detail is everywhere. Every square inch has got something. It's kind of like a, a middle finger to the guy looking for something to look at that's wrong. I love that about him. Um, last but not least, you know, we've got Bill Elvis Stull. He's got, uh, he's been owning uh, Cousins uh, Auto Body in, uh, Wisconsin, that's right. I keep wanting to say Montana. And uh, I've been following Bill for a while now, and he, he, man, he's one of my heroes. He's a collision painter. He's a custom painter. He does the artwork, the body, steel, fab, everything. He's, he's kind of like a one-man band, but he is backed by, I'm sure, a very solid crew uh, that he considers family just like we do. Um, I'm very proud of these guys, just like the, uh, the previous Mavericks before them. I do honestly believe that they truly know their stuff and they will definitely represent Matrix. 
uh, to the best of their abilities and I'm sure push Matrix and its products even further than their uh, intended abilities. And uh, to say the very least, again, I'm very, very proud of these guys. Who's up next? Hello, everybody. My name is Rob Mosin uh, in marketing here for Automotive. Uh, thank you very much, Ryan. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Justin. And how about it for our new Mavericks of Color? I also want to thank you all for coming by and visiting our booth. Uh, it's an opportunity for us to celebrate our legacy with uh, collision repair and the brew finish business. Uh, this is not our only booth. We also have a sister booth of our House of Color over in the Central Hall. Please, I encourage you to go by and visit them. They are complimentary booths that are designed for you to understand our products. Some of which the new ones are HOK for the first time, House of Color. We're introducing some new color tools, three new color tools. They're designed to help the, ref the refinisher, uh, the artists, the rebuilders select the right colors using House of Color. Three different decks, over 880 colors chosen, including the infamous Kosmoski colors are in that deck. We also have our USC brand. It's in business for over 50 years. We're gonna leverage that brand and we're looking for opportunities and we're gonna add new labeling new imaging. We've added a brand new website that has videos all about the products and training on the products. And last but not least, I can't forget about our new Ultra 9K, which is a fantastic product for both new cars and old, like this 49 Hudson. Isn't that a beauty? Well, wrapping it up, thank you all very much. Have a wonderful 2019 SEMA show. Get out there and experience everything you possibly can. Have a great day.